or the spectacular trio. I'm Nolan, he's Caleb, you know. Mm hmm. Remember that. And <laughs> we got uh, John- Jonathan. That's John- it. Yes, yeah. it's Jonathan. <laughs> okay. Um, Caleb was telling me that you are in the military or were, I don't know where you are at right now. So. Still am. I'm a staff okay. sergeant in the United States Army. Nice. And you recruit people. I do now, yes. Because you're trying to recruit me. <laughs> I was when we met. That's right, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> and I told you sorry that I couldn't be recruited. <laughs> also, oh. yeah. Sorry, I can't go either. I'm legally <laughs> blind. So You are not blind. I'm legally blind. No, you ain't. That's a lie. <laughs> so uh, pretty good. Uh, um, what um, what state do you recruit in? Uh, now Mississippi. Okay. Yeah, Mississippi. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know you guys uh, live in the same state. Okay, that makes sense. I am the recruiter for Caleb's old high school, Lewisburg. Uh-huh. For Lewisburg High School. Wait, Kayla, what's her high school name? Lewisburg. Huh. You know, LHS. No, I do not. <laughs> Lewisburg High School. All right. Um, yeah, so what was, like, the main reason that you kind of went into the Army? I know it's kind of different for everyone, but... Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we have multiple different reasons that we've determined with, you know, of course, time of so many people serving um, as to why people join. Um, One of those is pride of service. I would very much say that I joined for pride of service. Um, Some join for college. Some join just to have a job. Um, I'm fourth generation army. So the the last two before me have retired. So for me, I just I wanted to wear the uniform that they did. So very much pride of service. That is awesome. Um, congratulations and thank you for your service. So appreciate it, man. I was wondering, um, do some boys like go into it to like um, get strict rules and turn into a young man? Uh, I've definitely seen that where they go, oh, I don't think I'm mature enough for college or I don't think I'm mature enough for this, but I can go join the army and, you know, do something fun for a couple of years and, and then decide what I want to do. Uh, but the, do they normally stri- the guys that retire. <laughs> do they stri- like straighten out the boy and turn him into a man? Well, I mean, I won't say yes or no on that. Um, there's this misconception that with the army, you know, we're like uh, – put us in a box and, and break us out a um, box it's war you know but no I, I mean you have your own life so yeah i mean you get some aspects of going into adulthood and becoming a man i mean you make your own money you live on your own there's no mom and dad but i mean you still kind of get to go out and be your own you know some people handle that better than others you know i've known soldiers that still you know couldn't get certain parts of their life together you know needed help with that so the army's not always you know a fix all but i mean it, i'd say yes it does help with that and yeah. it brings more life and path to them um... oh yeah yeah i know a lot of my uh, old buddies from high school there's a few of them they have joined um, Army and Marines. Um, I don't know if they joined the Air Force. I'm not sure. But I'm especially seeing a lot more at this time. So, oh, yeah. I think we're going to see a lot more um, post-COVID, um, just with the job market drying up. Yeah. Actually, I have a couple of friends that are in the Army that are from Mississippi. Mm-hmm. Um, Preston Holloman and um, I think DJ. Gotcha. 
Now, keep in mind, unless I put them in, I probably won't know them. The Army has a lot of people in it. So, um, And I, Ariane I, Wolford. Yeah. And see, I didn't put in most of your class, Caleb, because I wasn't in Mississippi last year. I was in North Carolina. That's where my grandma was from. Ah, I got you. She used to live there. Um, how has it been recruiting people because of COVID, like the boundaries, the – how has all that been? A little bit of a nightmare. Um, yeah, I bet. <laughs> I mean, so for a little while, we couldn't even put people in the Army. Um, we closed down our facilities for probably about two months um, when it all first kicked off. And, I mean, it's slow rolled from there. There's a lot more rules when you go to in-process in. There's a lot more rules when you go to basic training. Um, as far as – not, I won't even call them rules, just precautions that are being made. To, you know, make sure everybody's safe. But they are, uh, you know, hurdles you've got to jump. So it's difficult. Um, but it's definitely played in, paid an impact on people joining this year. I will say that. Yep. I, um, my brother-in-law recently just joined the Army, actually. You so, didn't tell me that. Yeah, we've been hearing, like, certain things, like how it's been since covid and he hears yeah. like, yeah, it's it's a it's, it's different from people that have been in it for a while. So yeah. it's it's weird how that changed everything, like almost literally everything. So. Well, even within the army, you've got to think about how we have to protect our communities. Yeah. I mean, if we have an outbreak of soldiers that get COVID, it could easily, you know, kill them. Well, not kill them, but take a whole platoon real fast, and and everybody get it. So we've had to have a lot of extra precautions within the army. Um, a lot of guys, I mean, we, we live our own lives. Like once we get off work, we go do what we want. We do what we want on the weekends, but we haven't been able to do that as much during COVID um, for a while there. You couldn't even leave posts. So it makes things a little bit more difficult, but things are starting to really return to normal in the army, which is kind of nice. Normal to overrated. Yeah, I want to get back to normal. Like, my brother's in the Army, too, and he's stationed in Alaska. And I was supposed to go see him in August, but I couldn't because I couldn't fly into Alaska. So I'm ready to get back to normal. Is it cold in Alaska? Uh, I think it's, like, negative 30 today. Because I would have thought, because every know. people that says Alaska, I keep telling my mom, okay, is Alaska where they have snow almost everywhere? And I say because they either say it's hot or it snows there. Well, for half the year, you um, don't have sun but four hours a day, and it's really light. And the other half the year, it doesn't get dark ever. So the winters there are really cold, and it's uh, snow all the time. Is it northern lights there? Yes, they are. Because I've always wanted to know it. Uh, my brother sends me pictures of them all the time. That's cool. awesome. Yeah, Alaska is like one of those weird areas, like you were saying, with all the light and northern and, lights. Yeah. Get it right. No, I meant like the sunlight and everything. So yeah, that's I don't northern light. I don't know how I would feel about the sun and everything like that. I like the sun. I like when it's out. There's a difference. I hate the sun. <laughs> Not me. I'm retiring to Florida. Yeah. Mm. I would do that too. <laughs> Literally, so I could work at Disney World. <laughs> so, hey, that wouldn't be a bad job for sure. Hello, I've always dreamed of working at Disney World. Not outside of your possibilities. Eh. You should go for it. Yeah, but until my mom and dad allow it. <laughs> <laughs> So how long have you, like, I don't know if you said this, but how long have you, like, served in the military? Ten years. Okay. I'm halfway there. Yeah. It's 20 years, right, for a military career? Well, you can go 20 yeah. to, to retire. You can retire at 20, but you can go all the way to 32 years. All right, okay, that's what I thought. So. How many are you going to? 20. So you ain't going until 30 years? 
this is my second career. I was a police officer for seven before the army. Oh, wow. So, uh, that'll be 27 years at 20. And, uh, I think I'm going to call it a day for service. What about Uh, your children? Are they going to go? I don't know yet. Um, my 10 year old says yes, sometimes and no, sometimes. Well, 10 year old don't know it. (laughs) Yeah. And then I have a two year old. So, um, she can't talk yet. Well, he talks, but, uh, yeah, definitely not, uh, not what he wants to do yet. Until you show him it. <laughs> oh, my two-year-old's wide open. Y'all yeah, might I hear have a, a little bit. I oh. have a five-year-older. <laughs> At your house? Yes. Just... Five's a good age, though. You can get him to bring you stuff. <laughs> Actually, no. My mom taught her to tell me no. <laughs> and I'm just mad every time she don't do anything I say. <laughs> yeah, I can't really comment on having a younger sibling. or. Uh-huh, because you have how many? Um, I have like four, but I'm the youngest out of all of them. So. You're the middle oh. child. No. I'm the youngest. The youngest. <laughs> oh, dude. I wouldn't even know what that's like. I was the, you have 12 I'm siblings. The oldest. Speaking of. <laughs> hey, get that oh. back. Stole my watch, y'all. Oh. Well, kids do that. Everything good? Or... Oh, yeah. Okay. He steals all the time. All right. He's yet to flush it down the toilet, so I'm good. <laughs> flush it down the toilet. That's funny. So after the Army, what do you plan on doing in the next 10 years? You know, that seems to be all me and my wife have been talking about. It's what I'm going to do after the Army. You can always, like, travel the world. I've kind of done that already. We'll continue to travel. We travel a lot. So that's me and my wife's passion. Uh, Y'all should go go on a a Disney cruise then. Well, we've done Disney World and we've done a cruise, just not a Disney cruise. But we've done Disney. You would love it. I love it. (laughs) I've been on eight. Eight? Yeah, it's that amazing. (laughs) Literally. I wish me and my parents, we wish we were on it now. (laughs) Because they have a place for your kids and a free buff A. And then they have a movie theater, a pool, and a dance floor. Yeah, they had all that with Carnival. Plus, I own stock in Carnival. (laughs) They have a golf course. Oh, on the boat? Yeah. Oh, well, they had a putt-putt golf course on the Carnival one. And there's hidden pools. Um, And a water slide. Well, that'd be pretty cool. On the top of it. And a movie screen for in the pool. That'd be pretty cool. And a hot tub. Hmm. And three stores. What? And three stores on it. Yeah. It's all about the same. I think there's just like a normal cruise ship thing that they just And four different restaurants. Yeah, sounds about right. I don't know. They're fun. How many times have you been to Disney World? Probably five or six. Jeez, you got me beat. I've been three to the parks three. I've been there like five, but I don't always go to the parks. I've also been to the World of Harry Potter. Yeah, I've done that. I've I've definitely done that. That's my favorite. Yeah, me too. I got the wand in the Harry Potter wand shop. (laughs) Literally. And they made me the Harry Potter. Mm. Because my mom said he just had to have it. He was the one that was chosen to be Harry Potter. (laughs) And then I said, oh my goodness, this thing is making wind in my hair. (laughs) So you you like Harry Potter. Um what other like fantasy worlds like around that like um Harry Potter, Marvel, Star Wars? Like all that, or oh man, me and my son's just about into everything you just named. Um, <laughs> hey. so 
I kind of nerd out when it comes to movies. Uh, he's Hi a, there. Hi. Yeah. Hey. You so cute. <laughs> Wanna say hi? Guest appearance. Guest appearance. His son. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You're all good. Oh. Hey, so cute. Hi. 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 You're so cute. Look at that yes, crazy yes, little phone face. Phone. Look at that precious face. Definitely all about your headphones, Caleb. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, he would steal them in a heartbeat, man. He'd oh, he ain't the still mine. <laughs> well, I better keep him away from my setup then. Yeah, he, oh, man, he makes his brother so mad. He'll run up, grab him, and run. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I'd run if I could. I used to do that kind of stuff to my brother as well. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. How? Uh, so, what kind of, what characters do you <laughs> use on, like? How? Well, I'm a Captain America nut. Um, nice. That's my <laughs> favorite character. Captain America so, nut. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. Like, um, I definitely nerd out for Captain America. Yeah. I used to be his favorite. Yeah. And then Wolverine. So, he's a check. One of the OGs. I like all of them. Yeah. My my favorite is um, Tony Stark. Boo, he's just a normal billionaire. Yeah, but that's what makes him cool. Just like Batman, anybody could technically be Batman. Yep. Batman. <laughs> I called them two cheaters. Because <laughs> they're cheating their way into being a hero. <laughs> okay. And they make their own weapons. That makes make. That's what makes it cool. Yeah, you know, I mean, they make it's their own cool stuff. Or it's, it's, it was cool so, if they right, were Nash, born with it. Bruce Wayne has to study martial arts for years and hundreds of hours to working out to be that He should awesome. already know yes. everything. So, uh, superheroes just get to wake up and be special. He had to make himself special. That's I like awesome. the way you yeah. said it at first. I, I'm, more, I'm more with Jonathan on this. It's so much better if they build, build yeah. themselves up. Mm-mm. I like that more in a hero. So I like it when they have their powers already. <laughs> Man, I was never a big Batman fan, but when you're watching the like uh, the last Batman series, like in the last, I guess what, about ten years ago when it came out, and he's got that fight in the prison yard where he takes like eight inmates on. Oh, yeah. After that, man, I was all about some Batman. I was like, all right, that dude just took on eight dudes by himself, all using nothing but martial arts. I'm like, all right, I'm Boomerang. down. Boomerang. Yeah. Well, I fight mixed martial arts, so I can appreciate mm-hmm. that. Yeah. You mean Taekwondo, right? MMA. My background's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I thought it was Taekwondo. <laughs> no. What about karate? I did karate for like one year when I was a kid, but that's it. Same. My mom used to be a karate black belt. Hmm. Were she taught you... me a couple of moves. Yeah. She taught me how to scare people off. Thank you. <laughs> the watch has returned. Watch the watch has returned. The watch always returns. I'm really <laughs> happy about the that. The watch returns. No, I returned. All right. Um, I would think that your favorite movies from Marvel are the ones with Captain America in it. Uh-huh. So, what's your opinion about what they did to him at the end of Endgame? How do you see that as like a story arc? To be honest, didn't watch it. You didn't. You didn't watch nope. it. Nope, I haven't watched it yet. Um, I kind of burned out. They kept making all the movies, and I just kind of burned out on it. 
and haven't watched it yet. It, mm, I'm right now. I'm running on my like fourth rewatch of all the movies. Yeah. <laughs> nope. I haven't watched any of the end right. games. Um. Nope. <laughs> what is the last um like Marvel movie you've seen? Probably Civil War. Okay, not bad. Okay. Silver War. It's a pretty good one. I like that one. I feel like that is where that's kind of in the middle of the movie franchise area. Yeah, so. I was just burning out on them. Like, how many are they going to make? You know, there are about. They're making like a new one. And you also got to think about it. Uh, I mean, I, I haven't been to the movie since COVID started, so oh, no. I would have saw it in theaters. But just mm-hmm. watching at the house, I haven't got around to it yet. So. Well, if you have Disney Plus, almost all the movies are I available. Do. I do. The only on there. the only movies that aren't available are Hulk and the Spider Man, both of them. So. Yeah, we just did a Wolverine like marathon. Nice. Not too long ago. Yeah. Um. Pretty soon, I think, or in the probably next like five six years, they'll be bring they'll be bringing the Fox. Um properties into the marvel universe oh yeah yeah Yeah. (laughs) looking i'm really glad those merged oh yeah they may not bring wolverine in i'm not sure maybe not the same actor i think i'm also really hoping about the new ninja turtle comic hugh jackman Hmm. hugh jackman is retired as wolverine yes no it's gotta have man he's too old he can't get in that kind of shape i don't care yeah, I, as a as a uh, person that once said he's retired and now he's just gonna no, go he can't and- retire. <laughs> Got you, man. He Hugh Jackman's like sixty five. Like he cannot continue Wait. to look young enough to play Wolverine. Yes, he can. He's sixty <laughs> five. Yeah, he's he's up there, man. He's I think he's he's yeah. I think he's in his sixties. Wow. He looks really young for his age, but he's, he's pretty Nolan. old. Yeah. I had no idea he was that old. Yeah. Uh, and that's what he said. He's like, for the last movie that he played Wolverine, what he had to put his body through to get into the shape, <laughs> to feel that he was upholding to his responsibility to the fans was too much for a, a person to be asked to do. Mm-hmm. And I get that. I respect that. Now, whenever he did the one where he played old Wolverine, that was pretty cool. And you know he could still do that, but he just he, he can't get in that kind of shape anymore. And I, I respect that. Like, I think Logan was a pretty good one. I think that's one you're. That's that's one I'm referencing. Yes, yeah, Logan. Yeah. Oh, it's one of my favorite. Like, yeah, I thought it was awesome. It had an awesome twist. Like, yeah. What's cool about Logan? Logan is probably one of my favorite ones from the Fox yeah. area. So, so he, he, he's just playing Wolverine as Wolverine's gotten old. Yeah. And Professor X has gotten old, and they're the last two that are alive. So everybody else just died of old age. That's sad. Yeah, not really. It is, too, because you don't know where the dead people go. It's life, man. It's life. Yeah. The one thing you can't escape. <laughs> Man, is that a Colorado C on your chest? Yeah, I'm actually wearing a Colorado shirt right now. Ah, so I used to live there. Yeah, I do live here. So, oh, I was stationed at Fort Carson for four oh, years. Nice. Then I lived in Fitzsimmons Army Base for three years in a row. Hmm. So seven years hey. of my life in Colorado. It's a good Where state. Are you I am um, like 20 minutes out of Denver. Okay. Yes. I don't want to say my exact location. <laughs> so. Why not? Fair enough. <laughs> so. Why not, no one? Because I don't. You just don't want me to know where you live. <laughs> yeah, you and like how many other people see this? <laughs> I don't care if people come see me. I love it. <laughs> uh, you live in a pretty cool spot, man. I definitely enjoyed being there. Uh, I was ready to get back south, though. Yeah. 
All right. Um, I I got nothing else to ask. Okay. So. Do you want to ask us any questions? Didn't know I was gonna do that, so not prepared. <laughs> I was just prepared to answer questions. So, what, what do you guys? What do you guys do your podcasts like normally on? Like, what's this is what, it? Just this just it. talking to different people. We talk to different people, but we hope that it gives them courage and like a thought of never giving up on their choice or their path or their talent or career. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Me and, I, um, me and Caleb have had, where we still have, we have um, MPS1. We, we the share same, the same, like, disease. Genetic disease. So, we've, Got it. we've both been through a lot, and we kind of realize, like, we shouldn't um, keep that. Be ashamed from, of who we are. Yeah, absolutely. Not. Yeah, absolutely not. Because we we both experienced people putting us down. Yeah, and we and we thought there people are people don't deserve to be put down. They should be pushed back up. Absolutely, guys. We thought we we're not the only ones that think that um, because of our disease that we're not special or something something. And that. Important. People who have a voice are showing people that they are worth something. Yeah. That's awesome. So that is why we do this podcast. That's awesome. To help. And I thank Wade and Nolan because I gave them the idea of starting this podcast. <laughs> Wade is a, yeah, Wade is another guy. He's the other guy that we do this with. And we used to do a lot of other YouTube stuff together, mainly uh -huh. because we were in film class together in high school. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. That's awesome. And I always like it. My Sometimes my friends, like, no, I'm whatever I do on video stuff. And they're like, four years of film class and your lighting looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh. Oh yeah. Yes. Well, my kid keeps turning off my lights, so <laughs> Yeah, it's all right, man. If I could ask you, what would you like if you had any to power, what would it be? If I could have a power. That's a tough one. I'd probably fly. But it'd be hard because superhuman strength would be pretty cool too. But I probably have more than one power. Those would be my two. Okay. Everybody's like, oh, I want to read minds. I want this. No, I want to be able to break <laughs> stuff and fly. That's it. Dangerous, aren't they? <laughs> well, I'm already a big guy, so being stronger would be something else. But hey. I mean, you've never met me in person, Caleb, but I'm six foot nine. Yeah, you're taller than me. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big guy. I don't judge you there at all. I'm a short <laughs> dude. I'm only four Appreciate foot. It. Hey, man, there's nothing wrong being four foot. Hey, my daddy's taller than me. <laughs> Caleb, most people are taller than us. Okay, I know that. So, Caleb, what, what would your superpower be? What would you want to be? Be able to teleport and go invisible whenever I want. or And read people's minds. And have super strength. My super strength. And I want to fly without a plane. Well, I'm going to recorrect that, though. When I say I want to fly, I want to be able to fly like Superman, like fast as hell. I don't want to go slow. You mean like a All speeding right. bullet? There you go. I really, I wouldn't want a superpower, probably. Oh, just, come on. You already got one. Just, you got the power of smartness. Okay, well, that's called intelligence. Same thing. <laughs> I would probably trade out my superpower for um, Tony Stark's, like, his max. Boo. His max tier suit. I would want that. 
I mean, well, you want, so what you want is your superpower is IQ because Tony Spark, to, Tony, Tony Stark, Stark is yeah. like ridiculously smart. I'll take, like yeah, that's my power. Intelligence. Never mind, scratch that. IQ. So he technically has a superpower. He, his IQ score is like the top 0.1% of humanity. So, yeah, I'll, I want that. Kind of up there. Yeah. I mean, the guy does stuff that no one else can, you know. Besides flying. Yeah, you know, he can fly. He can fly. Besides can fly. flying. Oh. Yeah. Like, that's kind of cool. Rip the cord out of his chest. He doesn't have a cord anymore. That's what you think. All right. All right. All right, uh, John. Thank you so much for coming on with us. Hey guys, appreciate thank it. Thank you. Yeah. And you ever, we will have you again. Just let me know. Yeah, we'll we let you know. All right, guys. I appreciate it. Yep. I'm out. We are the spectacular yep. trio. Two o. <laughs> that Duo. works. Man. See ya. All right, guys. Later. Go army. Later.